We are learning to count in twos. When might we count in twos? So we might count in twos when we're counting money. So two pence coins, pairs of socks, eyes, hands, sandwiches in a box, or even pairs of shoes. So what other things come in twos? Have a think and comment below. So what does counting in twos actually mean? So counting in twos is when we're counting two objects at the same time. So we're counting a pair together. So one pair, two pair, three pair, but each pair means two. So that means we have to do two, four, six. Let's have a look at it now on the number line. What does it look like on the number line? So when we're doing it on the number line, we need to make sure that we miss one number out. So let's take a look. So if we start at zero, we're going to miss out the number one and go straight on to the number two because we're counting in twos. Then miss out the number three, then go on to the four. Miss out the number five, go to the number six. Miss out the number seven, and then go straight onto the eight, and then to the ten. So we're basically counting in twos, missing out a number each time. So let's count in twos. Off we go. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, and 30. Let's try and count in twos. So we've got these 2p coins. So remember, these are not pennies, so we can't count them in ones. We need to count them in twos. So we've got one, two, three coins. We can't do that because we're counting in twos. So each coin represents two. So because there are two, we can do this on the number line. Two, four, six. So we're doing three jumps, but in twos. So that's two, four, six. So that means I have six P or six pence. Now it's your turn. So try and count in twos. Just remember that these are not pennies, so you can't count them in ones. They represent twos. So you need to count them in twos. Off you go. Okay, so let's do this together. So that's two, four, six, eight, and ten. Let's do that on the number line. Remember, we're missing a number out in between each of those. So I've got five coins, so we need to do five jumps. One jump, two. Another jump, four. Another jump, six. Another jump, eight. And another jump, ten. So remember, I've missed out a number in between each jump because I'm counting in twos. So that means I have ten pence. So if you got that right, give yourself a tick. Well done. So let's try and count in twos. So there are two sandwiches in each box. Count in twos to find out how many there are. So 
so there's two, four, and six. So I've counted in twos there. I've made sure that there is a number missing, so let's check that. Two, number missing in the middle, to four, number missing again. And the number of jumps depends on how many twos I'm counting. So the reason why I've done three jumps is because I've got three boxes of sandwiches. So I land on this on number six, so I've got six sandwiches in total. Now it's your turn, you can give it a go. There are two sandwiches in each box. Count in twos to find out how many there are. Off you go. Okay, so let's see. So we're not counting the number one. So we go straight into two. We're not counting the number three. So that means there's four. We're not counting the number five. So that means the third box has six. We're not counting the number seven. So that means we go into the number eight. We're not counting the number nine. So that leaves us with number 10. So I've counted in two. Let's check on the number line. So I start at zero to two, four, six, eight, ten. So I've done five jumps of twos. And I land on the number ten. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye for now.